In our first example today, we want to take a look at how we can use the dimensions of the unit cell to calculate some fundamental properties of the pure solid, like the atomic radius of a metal. So through x-ray experimentation, we find that the edge of silver, the pure elemental metal's unit cell, is 407 picometers. Silver crystallizes in a face-centered cubic, SCC, crystal structure. We would like to calculate the diameter of a silver atom. To solve this problem, we are essentially using the geometric arguments that we presented on the last set of slides, where we look at the unit cell of silver, and if the unit cell is FCC, we know that we have atoms at the corners and one, atoms at, one atom at the face. The eighth of an atom that's present inside the unit cell is actually touching the half an atom that is in the face of the unit cell, and we have another eighth of an atom over here. So looking at the unit cell from a geometry perspective, we have a square face of the cube where half of this is a right triangle. So our right triangle is this edge length here, this edge length here, and then the hypotenuse across the square face of the cube. The edge length is what we can measure based on our x-ray data, and we found that the edge length L, this side of the cube and that side of the cube because it's square face, is 407 picometers. So we have a right triangle where A is 407 picometers, B is 407 picometers, and then the hypotenuse will be four times the atomic radius because we have the atomic radius of this atom here, two times the atomic radius of the center atom that's in the face, and then another atomic radius here. So using the Pythagorean theorem, we find that the equation for the radius in terms of the edge length boils down to four times the atomic radius is equal to the edge length L times the square root of two for the face-centered Q. And of course, we saw in the previous slide that each type of unit cell gives rise to a different formula rela relating the edge length to the atomic radius. If, if we solve this equation for the atomic radius, we find that the atomic radius r is equal to the edge length l times the square root of 2 divided by 4. Plugging in 407 picometers as the edge length, the square root of 2 is 1.4142. We divide that by 4. 407 times 1.4142 divided by 4 gives us an atomic radius for silver of 143.89 picometers, which is well in line with the typic, typically given atomic radius for silver of 144 picometers to three significant figures. So one of the things you can immediately get looking at the edge length of the unit cell, if you know the crystal structure, if you know the sphere packing pattern, the crystal organization of the pure solid that you're looking at, is the atomic radius by virtue of knowing the dimensions of the unit cell.